This is a gimme brow for mice. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I was very surprised because I wasn't expecting these quite so soon, but I'm very happy nonetheless because I got uh, several of my subscriptions today. The first one I'm going to be doing is Birchbox, so I'm going to be filming a couple of times in a row with this outfit and everything else. Birchbox, if you don't know, it's recently changed. I mentioned this in all my videos in case there's somebody new. Birchbox was essentially the original beauty subscription box. It was $10 a month for forever, essentially. About three, four months ago, maybe going on the fifth month, I'd have to go back and look. They have raised the price to $15. Now, I'm not currently paying $15, but eventually I will. This was with the promise of a much improved box. Several of the things that they have done to change is you do get one more sample. And now they have these curated boxes, usually about four or five that you can choose from. There's a problem with that though. You know, I get my notifications. You have this one day to make your choice. You can either choose a sample to go with the box or you can choose one of their curated boxes. But the good boxes sell out extremely quickly. Obviously they don't make a lot of them. Now I work a lot of jobs. It's very hard for me to get on there specifically at the certain time as soon as they go on and by the time I get to go and choose my or want to choose my box, the ones that I really want are sold out. And sometimes the sample options that they give you aren't really ones that I want either. So it has become kind of a hassle and if you don't choose, you want to talk about my experience with that, it was the worst box I've ever received. So it has its issues. Last month I did very well because I was able to choose a sample that I actually wanted and the rest of the products that I got I actually liked. I don't like to do spoilers. I like to be either surprised or disappointed in front of you so you can share my reaction with me. And sometimes it's quite the reaction. Now, I've gotten a few comments lately. They're like, what do you expect? It's a, it's a subscription box. If you don't like it, don't order it. I get all that, but I'm sharing my experience with you. Just because I know it's a mystery box doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to not like the products or be disappointed in that month's box. Am I complaining and griping? No, but I am sharing my experience with you. And, and that's what this is all about. It's about the experience. Whether or not I like the products, we're all entitled to our opinions. You may absolutely love the products, but for me they may not work, so we're all entitled to our opinions. We're all entitled to express our opinions. I welcome people saying, I completely disagree with you, in of course a respectful way as I would say it back, but sometimes people get so heated if, if you don't like something, and I just want to say that it's okay if I don't like it. And it's okay if there's something that I love that you really don't. That's what makes us all different, and that's what makes us all great. Now that that little story time is over, I want to talk about the box. It's very, very cute this month. It is a, a bunch of lemons and oranges because it is now summer, and I'm suffering. Inside, you do get a card that is going to tell us all of the items. I'm not going to look on the back, but in the front, it says, Love You got a very beautiful woman and she says I've come to embrace my body and love it for exactly how it is it makes me feel really free to simply exist and not feel like I have to change for another person very good statement and very well said the paper is yellow to match and right on top I have a 20% off coupon off of the discovery kits and limited edition boxes I do really enjoy their limited edition boxes so I may use this code it's exclusive 20 is the code if you go to birchbox.com exclusive so inside the box it looks like I have this is from Davinus. We get Davinus in almost every box every month. But this is a hair and body wash. I don't like this brand for my hair, but I will certainly use it as a body wash. Let's see if I can smell it. Oh, it has a very nice, almost sweet lavender type smell. Cool. I can always use a body wash. 
The next thing I'm pulling out is from Kiehl's, and this is a really good size. This is the Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser. That is really awesome. It has Amazonian white clay, and it says that it exfoliates and it detoxifies. I have a lot of cleansers. I just want to see if this is safety sealed. It is not, so I can put some on my hand. I enjoy trying different cleansers. I like to try the different textures. This is, has a very, very finely grained exfoliant in it. You can barely feel it, so if you have sensitive skin at all, I think this will be very gentle. It really doesn't have a scent, so I think that's even be more beneficial for those with sensitive skin. So that's not bad. That makes me happy. I said that's a really generous size. What's this little tiny baby thing? Oh my goodness. This is a gimme brow for mice <laughs> because it's the tiniest thing. I've received one of these before. I don't think it was in the box, so I did not realize how minuscule the box was. I mean, look at how tiny the writing is. O only a mouse could probably read this. I'm hoping that it is in a good color. It is in three, which is approximately what I use. I use anywhere from three to 4.5, depending. I do really like this, and I have to say the last one I had, the sample lasted a decent amount of time, but this just, this cracks, cracks me up. Oh, this is very nice. This is from Dr. Jart. Dr. Jart is a fairly pricey skincare brand. It's the one with those creepy baby faces on their mask products. It's a bit of a bizarre brand. I think they have decent ingredients. I honestly haven't tried very much from them, but this is the V7 Priming Moisturizer. It says it's a multivitamin complex. Again, I cannot currently read the ingredients without a giant magnifying glass but that's cool. I like it. I'm trying to think about what product. Did I maybe choose this one? I honestly don't know because I don't think I was thrilled with too many of the products. Oh, now this makes me extremely happy. Okay, this is a MAC lip gloss. I love MAC packaging. I don't know whether this is the baby size or the big size, but it's sealed. I used to buy MAC lip glasses exclusively and wear them exclusively and I would go back with my six empty containers and snag a new one so often. I'm going to try this on. I don't know what color it is. Does it say? I cannot, cannot read the name of it, but it is a beautiful color. I will swatch it on my hand first for you. Now these are more of the stickier feeling it's a gorgeous color. Some people really despise these because it has a sticky texture. They have an incredible scent, and I don't particularly mind this. It's not like you get those strings between your lips. This is really pretty. They smell like freaking birthday cake. I love it. I had a purple lipstick on. I don't know what possessed me to put on a purple lipstick. I think it was just the first thing I grabbed and I didn't see very well. And then I looked out here and I was like, hello, it's pretty. And this is fabulous to get in the box. So I'm quite impressed. Let's read up on this card. Let's see if I can read up on this card. Ha, no glasses. So the Benefit Cosmetics. Gimme Brow Volumizing Eyebrow Gel. It is in three medium. The full size of it is $24. I'll be very curious to find out what this little guy is worth when I do my math, if I can even see the amount of ounces that we get in here. It's a tinted Brow Gel's Water Resistant Formula fills in sparse brow, no, sparse spots for natural looking fullness. Using short strokes, gently apply the precision tip uh, from the inner edge outward. That is normally how I would apply a brow gel. The Divinus SU Hair and Body Wash, the full size of it is $24. That's what I don't like is that they're rather pricey. The Revitalizing Gel cleanses from head to toe, hydrating and preventing sun damage to your hair. Oh, it must have a UV protection. It's very interesting. The Dr. Jard V7 Priming Moisturizer, the full size of it is $48. Schnikes. The Vitamin Infused Moisturizer works like a primer to mattify even out your complexion and blur the appearance of pores. I'm not really into mattifying primers, but in the summertime I could probably use maybe a little bit of oil absorption. I'm really not oily. I'm mostly sweaty. 
I don't know if it helps with that, but I guess we'll find out. That is so pricey. The Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser. The full size of it is $23, and again, this is a generous size. This is a solid fluid ounce. I don't know how many ounces the full size of it has. Made with exotic Brazilian clay from the mouth of the Amazon. The Amazon has a mouth? Okay. This cleanser removes dirt and toxins without drying out your skin. Okay, so that's what's interesting, and maybe the white clay, because I know kaolin clay is a very oil-absorbing clay, so I will be very excited to give this a try and see what effects it has on my skin, whether it dries it out and how my skin feels afterwards. I'll use it the rest of this week. I can usually tell with the cleanser within a few days if, if I like it or not, as you will see with my June favorites and fails coming up soon. Stay tuned for that. And I think my very favorite from this box is the MAC Cosmetics Lip Glass. The full size of it, oh, it's in PUR. How appropriate for me. P-R-R-R. -R -R. Love that. The full size is $17.50, which seems to be the going rate for high-end lip glosses these days. Where have I been? The Jojoba Oil Infused Gloss is shimmering pinky peach shade. Oy. Lens a subtle sheen or a high shine finish with just a few extra layers. Wear it alone over or over lipstick. You know, I really I'm pressing my lips together and I don't feel that overly sticky feeling. It's not as non sticky as some of my others. But I really like this. I think they're fabulous and comfortable. And I absolutely love this, and I love the color. It's gorgeous. So that is this box this month. I was fairly happy with last box, and I have to say, I'm really happy with this box. I think all of the products, even this from Davinas, are going to come in extremely handy. I keep going on and reviewing my products, and when they ask if the shampoo and conditioners are relevant to me, I always say no. So this is, I'm going to use this as a body wash, and I really do love the scent. It's very calming a scent. So this was another great box, and I'm starting to see their improvements. We have never gotten a MAC lip glass in previous boxes before. So I am very happy. I'm also going to go on and take a look at their limited edition boxes since I have this 20% off coupon. But yeah, okay, so good box. I'm super happy. And I'm super happy that you guys joined me. And if you're new here and you like me, I would really love it so very much if you would subscribe. It would mean the world to me and maybe give me a thumbs up because that means the world to me because it really helps my video get seen by other people. Hint. Do you know what people say? Like this video if you want to see more of these. Like this video if you like this product. No. They want you to like the video because the more likes you get on a video, YouTube says, okay, this is a popular video. And that means they push it out to more people. Sometimes people, why can't we just be transparent on here? You know what I mean? Let's just say likes get our videos seen, which gets us more subscribers, which helps us out and helps us get money to support our channel. Uh, that's how it is. And I know you guys know that I'm always honest with you. So, whatever part of the world you are in on and around, I love you tremendously. And I hope that you are having an amazing day, an amazing week. And I hope it's a little cooler where you are. And I'll see you very soon, my friends. Much, much love.